Lost History Whatever happened? It is impressive, the volumes of information we have on history. The history of our nation, our civilization, and our world. Incredible that we can look back on hundreds of years and identify with genealogical records a single precious but unremarkable person. But sadly, even in our contemporary world, there are those who have lived and died and there is no record and no one knows they even existed. Recording the now and holding on to it for reference and looking back on the documentation of the past, well, accuracy in the record is a precarious thing. Speaking of precarious things, in a previous life, I had the responsibility to find the facts concerning destructive and traumatic events. One of the seemingly best ways to gather information was to interview those who witnessed the event. But I was amazed how so many people could recount the same event in such a remarkably inconsistent manner, so differently from each other, even if they were standing in the same place at the same time when the event happened. But that was normal. In fact, if recollections were too similar, there was a question that they may be lying about what happened. So, understanding that determining what happened a few minutes or days ago can be a little tough, you can imagine how the variations can be magnified over time, especially when the physical evidence is unavailable or lost. Need proof of my assertions? Just ask an older couple what color the flowers were at their wedding. Better yet, after two folks have listened to a politician speak for 10 minutes, ask them what the politician said. <laughs> Let's apply that understanding to the past. Obviously, humans kept written records, diaries, other accounts, journals, notes, letters, and official records. Well, if they thought about it and knew how to write, but therein rests three problems. One, if they could write it down, what did they experience? What was their perspective? How accurate was their record? Two, if they couldn't write, how was something recalled over time and through generations? How much does the story change? And three, how many details were not recorded or remembered? Because at the time, they weren't noticed or they didn't seem to matter. But wait, we've got video evidence nowadays, you say? And yes, we do. And that can be super helpful. However, even the clearest recording with audio and video can be interpreted in more than one way and will not contain the sometimes highly relevant context of what happened outside the camera's view and in the moments, hours, days, or weeks prior to the event in question. The lack of context can make kindness look like torture. Knowledge seem as ignorance and truths appear to be a lie. Hey, what do you know? So, is anything really knowable? Sure, but not everything. There are some things that are very consistent. When water gets cold enough, it freezes. The law of gravity is real. The sun does rise. Airplanes can fly. And chocolate is awesome. Well, it is to me. But when it comes to things like history, well, that's where stuff gets a little fuzzy. Kinda like new math. There are those who have declared that 97% of history is lost. It seems a large but believable number, and it's probably just an arbitrary guess. But here's some examples. Was there ever an Atlantis? And if so, what is it really like? And what's up with the Great Inconformity, that massive, missing billion or so years of geological history that appears in the Earth's crust that begins about 550 million years ago? And did Nero really fiddle while Rome burned? Did he even own a fiddle? 
And what about the Bible? Did that guy Moses literally part the Red Sea? And by the way, who lost those other 10 tribes of Israel? Is the government telling us the truth about the JFK assassination? Or any of the other stuff like, well, pick your own favorite conspiracy. And finally, what really happens to that one sock that goes into the dryer never to be seen again? Perhaps I am wrong to think this way. But when historians claim they actually know what was in the mind of some long past historical figure at a crucial time, well, I've got to laugh a little. So, here's the else from our brief view of the gaps and inaccuracies in human history. And just as with any story, there are many little outsized nuggets of wisdom to be uncovered. But for now, might I suggest just this one. When someone tells you that they know exactly what happened, that they have the unvarnished truth, give them a chance, but be an optimistic skeptic. Based on my observations, what we think we know changes over time, but someone else could see it differently. Said another way, a true expert on a subject, at least one that can be trusted, is one who has realized how little they actually know about that subject. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Thank you for watching this little video. I really appreciate you coming along on this journey. And if you enjoyed this video, can you take just a second, give us a like, maybe even subscribe or take the time to share this with some of your friends? It helps the algorithm and YouTube make it easier for others to discover us as well. And we really appreciate it. Thanks.